G'day everyone, Paul Daniels here. Okay, we've got an A1932 and it's got the classic high fan spin, which normally comes with either bad track pad or bad battery. Uh, it's got a 1932 and a 1934 and a 1934 and a 1934 and a 1934 been going insane with this one it was also it would do the thing where it would mostly boot but then hang on the apple low, uh, apple progress bar right at the end uh, i've done a lot of sort of chopping and changing i changed the battery changed the trackpad and nothing was working out and anyway so i thought i would change this chip here which is the um level shifters to go to the T2 because basically I'm worried that oh we've got a problem with the SMC section of the T2 but um, so I thought well you know what even though I've measured diode mode on here and they are according to open board data correct they're about 0.67 so we'll just uh, demonstrate that here so uh, what have we got points okay 0 0.65 0 0.65 so that's you know clock and data and they come into here and they get uh, shifted so it should be about 0 0.6 here 0 0.38 is about right 0 0.42 45 that's fine 0.45 yep 0.38 yep and then this look at that 0 0.94 really weird so you go okay what about here 0 0.6 and that line goes straight to there 0 0.9 0 0.6 so there's this eeny beady bit of corrosion down here like with these ones and I'm wondering maybe you know I haven't actually had a chance to test it yet but maybe that's the problem maybe that's actually a cut track there not a hundred percent cut but enough cut and yeah the, now that I've zoomed in it actually might be this thing's been driving me insane for a little bit too long I hate to admit yeah, there we go that track was separated there was no continuity there now I thought I'd ruin this board but just by bad luck or something but I'm thinking maybe not let's check that diode mode again okay so 0 0.9 0 0.6 okay so and that there is for battery clock well hopefully that's the answer to it, it explains why it was intermittent because it initially came here and it sort of worked but then I, after I did my messing around, it stopped working. So, as you can imagine, I thought, oh, well, I buggered it up. As much as you hate to admit that you might do that occasionally, it does occasionally happen. You just got to man up to it, and, or person up to it, should we say, these days? I don't know. Okay, so we pre tin that. I will get some Litz wire. As you all know, it's my favourite kind of wire for these fixes. I'll just try and grab a strand. My tweezers probably need to be refurbished a bit. Way too much, of course. That's okay. The beautiful thing about the Litz wire is that it just tins so easily. Like, you don't have to fight with the enamel. There we go. I deliberately left a little bit of a dag on the end there. And I'm going to hit it with some hot air to get that to reflow nicely. Really hope this is a fix. Like I said, I've been battling with this for a little while now. I'm starting to lose my nerve. Okay, let's see if we've got 0.6 on that line now. It'll be a little bit different because of the heat, but we'll know. Lo and behold, there we go, 0.55, so that could be fixed. Let's try and make this thing boot. Okay, the amperage is climbing, so that's good. And it hasn't dropped anywhere, so that's even better. Whereas before, it would just drop, 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 drop. And the fan's not spinning crazy either, so that's a, another good sign. Certainly behaving a lot better now. But until we get that final login screen, I'm not going to be confident. Ooh, it's coming. We got to win. Finally. See you next time.